The difference you made when you came to me last year on loan. This, I think, many people notice, no? But I've got a lot to thank you for too, Dino. Uh, this is my agent, my, my dad. Mr. Hunter, a pleasure. Nice to put a name to the face. Uh, here, I predict only great things for your boy. Well, I know Alex is in good hands. Okay. Now, Alex, come. Uh, the manager and the press, they are waiting. It seems your arrival has caused quite the... How you say it? The media circus. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for coming today. We are very excited to have Alex joining our club. We will now take a few questions. Yes? Alex, hello. Uh, we have all heard the reports that you had a number of offers to move back to Europe. What made you decide to join PSG? Knowing the history, it's a great honor to be joining this club. But to be honest, when my agent told me about the offer, I didn't even have to think about it. I feel really privileged to be joining such a great squad of players and I'm gonna be doing everything that I can to make sure we win some silverware. Yes. A lot has been made of your age. At just 18, how will you deal with the weight of expectation on your shoulders? How can you turn around the fortunes of a club that has already been knocked out of Europe? The way I see it, you can either let pressure get to you or you can use it to drive you on. Now, I'm sure you'll all be the judge of how I get on over the next few months. <laughs> we have a time for just one more question. Yes, you on the left. It has been a turbulent year for you, uh, leaving your club in the Premier League, uh, joining the LA Galaxy and now coming here. Uh, for those of us who have followed your career, these constant moves, they do bring a suspicion of disloyalty. I give my all whatever team I'm playing for. For me, loyalty has never been an issue. As long as my club believes in me, I'm happy. We are, I am afraid, out of time. Thank you all very much for coming. Hi there everyone, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith and we have an amazing game for you today. It's particularly big for Paris Saint-Germain out of Europe. Their recent form in the league has been very poor, very disappointing and they will be hoping now that their business in the January transfer market bringing in Alex Hunter 
will work for them. He will partner up front, of course, their huge summer signing, Neymar. Will they be able to turn their fortunes around? It was interesting that once Neymar was ruled out of the Copa America, through getting a red card, Brazil rather fell apart. That's how good he is. Two in his previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. Check for you on the non-team now. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. supporters here they expect a certain type of football don't they An intricate game really yes and uh, for the opposition I mean it can be incredibly frustrating just trying to get the ball back you've got to work really hard and uh, once you do you want to make sure you don't give it away because you might not see it again for two or three minutes they had a five-year plan at Paris Saint-Germain which was up at the end of the 15-16 season of course they're so dominant in their own country can't quite make that final step into the elite winner's enclosure, if you like, in uh, Europe. No, but it takes time, doesn't it? We've seen that with Manchester City, but uh, with the money behind them, it's not going to be too long, I think, until we see them in a European final, perhaps lifting it. Well, the pressure paying off, it's an aimless clearance. Supported there as he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Thiago Mota. Baratti. Getting forward well as a team now. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. He's had a go here. Cross driven in low. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems. And certainly not the goalkeeper. It's Alex Hunter. Goes out wide again. Hunter. Good defending. He's got that well out of harm's way. Danny Alves. Oh, it's a corner. Fire that deflection. There's no doubting, is there, that PSG have the capacity to get who they want, when they want, really. They got Neymar in the summer, and now they brought in Alex Hunter. How will they work together? That's the question, really. And now can they help turn PSG's season around? I'm sure they can. Neymar! And he's put that into his own net. Oh, you have to feel sorry for him. Look at him down there, he's absolutely distraught. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. That could be a very costly own goal, because they're trailing to it now. Has it been a penalty involving Toulouse? It's a penalty for Toulouse. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he... Hunter! Bonnet has to clear it. We had to just cut off Alan McAnally there. He was in full cry telling us about the missed penalty from Toulouse. The score remains 0-0. Whipped in from the wide area. Referee's pointed for a goal kick. Javier Pastore. A penalty at Ren. It's a penalty for Stad Rene. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. Oh, no! Costa's fisted away by the keeper. Tackle here. The referee. Free kick given by the ref. Well, 
Well, we did have to interrupt Alan McAnally earlier, but Wren, he was trying to tell us, Wren had missed a penalty. I'm just getting the details on that. A missed penalty from Wren in that game. The score remains 1-0. Well, they move forward again with Alex Hunter. Di Maria! Goal news from Dijon. It's a goal for Dijon. 31 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of... Anticipation. One back very quickly. Colbert. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw-in. Colbert. Here's a chance! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. Just one or two uh, anxious shouts from the Paris Saint-Germain bench. Please, uh, I'm sure down there that the team are leading. They're not really dominating in this game. Two suggestions that the second half might be a problem for them. Colbert able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. He's coming forward. Shots on! Goalkeeper hangs on. The referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. What about Neymar in the first half, Alan? Well, his team are winning, but let's face it, he hasn't helped much. He's been pretty poor and you would expect him to get a lot better. <laughs> 45 minutes still to go, second half underway. Salah. Well, his teammates will thank him for that. Baratti. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Attacking now. And they've cut it out. Hunter. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Di Maria. Pastore, well that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. The goal from Pastore, and the way he's just taken that first time, steered it into the top right-hand corner, that's glorious. Well, here's the goal again. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Salah. Good interception. Good play from the Paris players to threaten the opposition now. And he's got to get it away now. Place to win the ball here. Javier Pastore. Hunter trying to keep the ball. Not anymore. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Trying to find Di Maria. 
defended well. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Goal news involving Amiens. It's the second goal for Troyes. 68 minutes played. 2-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Salah. Colbert. Could be a chance here. Far too close across to the keeper. Hunter. Salah. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Very good distance to the clearance. Strong challenge. It's a poor touch and the possession's gone away. Do need to concentrate right to the final whistle in matches such as these, high-quality games. Paris Saint-Germain will be surely aiming to do that just to protect their lead until they get across the finishing line. Attacking well here. Baratti. Hunter. In quickly. Here's Mota. Hunter. Pressed and won the ball well forward. Here's Hunter. Well, it looked a bad miss, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Ben Arfa. Attacking now. Neymar. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Football is a passing game, and goodness me, they're passing the ball around the opposition beautifully here. Yeah, there's been a good tempo to it, good movement off the... Well, it's a good win. It puts them perhaps back on track in the fight for the title. We'll see as the season develops. But Alex Hunter now knows what it's like to play here. Yeah, and he might be a lucky charm for this team. Who knows? Certainly brought a change of luck today. Well, they always say it doesn't matter who scores the goal. And I suppose that's even more applicable when it's an own goal. Yeah, you take what you can get, don't you? Because it will be on, the shoe will be on the other foot at some stage. And uh, they'll be delighted with that. Doubting is the that PSG have the capacity to get who they want. Alex, a wonderful winning debut for you. Now that you've played your first competitive game alongside your new teammates, how do you rate them? There are some great players at this club, and I tell you, it's wicked to be playing alongside them. I'm sure this win is just the start of great things to come from this group. Well, perhaps it's your arrival here that has brought the best out of them? Well, it's been a great debut for sure. I'm very happy to have helped the team get a win, but I definitely can't take all the credit. The crowd was amazing too, really got behind us, which gave us a lot of confidence. 
Well, we look forward to your success, Alex. Thank you. Uh, yes, Alex. How's it going, Dino? Uh, Alex, nobody's happy. The president, the fans, the dressing room. Out of Europe and behind in the league. The stress that has never been so great on me. We have to turn this around. Well, I'll be doing my best to help you out with that, Dino. The boss, he has been given budget to bring in one more top-class player. Nothing like a bit of healthy competition? Ah, quite true. But in this case, competition is not what the boss wants. He is looking to build a partnership. And you are one half of this equation. Cool. Look, this is why I called you in. I would like uh, your opinion on who you think would work best alongside you. <laughs> well, who are we talking about here? Believe in me when I say top of talent, Alex. Griezmann all the way. I mean, the other lads are class, but he's just the cleverest around. His finishing is on another level. I thought you might say him, and I agree. 
is the time with Atletico has been very special indeed. I will tell the boss. I think he will be pleased. Thank you for coming in. Oh, uh, and Dino? Alex? I know I owe being here to you. Thanks. Don't worry, mate. You'll be back soon. Alex, look who it is. Alex Hunter, looking forward to scoring some goals with you. Oh, mate, we are going to light it up. I can't wait. It starts tomorrow in training. For sure, man. Welcome to the club. Victory is the only option. Today, we train as hard as we play. Andiamo. We will be pushing ourselves harder today with the one-on-one drills.
Well done. If we carry this intensity into our next match, we will be very hard to beat. This much I can be sure of. Thank you all.